at noon, archaeologists looking for the boundaries of the old Alamo complex have their first clue. Garrett Berger's live at the dig site where the team has uncovered part of an old wall. Garrett, could this be part of the Alamo? They say this is definitely part of the Alamo complex. The adobe brick wall that they found in here is at the right location and it's from the right era. But the elite archaeologist on the site says that these bricks look a lot different than the masonry that we're used to. Check out these pictures that they provided for us. You can see the space in between the bricks where the mortar would have gone and the bricks themselves, which are made out of adobe, are about a foot to a foot and a half long. Now, the big question now is what was that wall for? Is it the west wall that the archaeological team has been looking for or was it one of the or was it the wall for one of the living quarters that might have been around that perimeter wall? Now, even if this wasn't the west wall, there should be some valuable information or clues that the team can get from it. You can tell us about the architecture, the deposits around it you may tell us something about what uh, what wall it is. Sometimes you'll have a bunch of trash that's accumulated next to a living wall, like of a house. You know how you sweep into the corners. The team says they're going to be using archival maps and archaeological data that's going to be coming out of this dig to figure out what the purpose of that wall was, whether it was the west wall or one of the living quarters. And the focus is obviously going to be on this dig site here. They only have a few square feet dug up at this point, and they just found the wall on Friday. So they're focusing their attention here. But there will still be activity at the second site across the street. After all, there is still a lot of the Alamo complex left to find. Live at the Alamo, Garrett Berger, KSAT. 12 News.